Hi guys, it dawned on me that I have not made a banana bag video tutorial yet. So, welcome to the banana bag video tutorial. And I have this lovely olive green cotton that I want to turn into a banana bag. And a nine inch, around 23 centimeters zipper here. So let's go over to the table, iron the fabric and go for it. So this is the fabric and then instead of the, the buckle, I found these carabiners in a DIY store. So of course I had to get them and I think I will go for the orange one here. And then I have those two. Let's see. So iron the fabric. While the iron is heating up, I want to talk a little bit about the pattern pieces. We have our front top and our front bottom, which kind of go like this and then we have the front side piece which goes here and here and then there is the big back piece which basically goes under the whole thing we want to also cut lining pieces for this this and this so i've picked up some linen leftovers uh, this is me trying to make kind of tropical research stamps at some point so it's like a linoleum print. Iron is hot. Let's just iron everything first. Let's create a little fold line. So we got the back lining. So I'm also gonna make some lazy pants with cargo pockets. That's why I have the whole yardage rolled up on the table but the first project I want to be the banana bag it's kind of always a good small quick project great for presents lately guys I've also really been enjoying to just quickly marking my pattern instead of pinning it I feel just drawing the pencil lines is just as fast as putting the pins especially for small projects like this. So let's just do them all and find a nice layout. I want to play with the grain. It's much more saving fabric. And as you can also see, there's a wee little bit of shape going on here, pattern wise. Ta da! And now, lining. So, and of course, little lining for the front sides. For this one, I want kind of like an extra pocket. And it could be her. Let me just quickly check how big this is. Or trace this. So let's make a little quick clean version. Add some seam allowance. So then we have a quick little pattern. That's it.
You guys can't believe how hot it is. I'm so sweaty. Anyway, so what's missing now is a strap. I'm just gonna quickly cut them from the green cotton as well. And I'm also gonna check in my bias tape jar if there's something funny. Ow. How about orange or dark green? I think orange it is. So now we have the back outside, the back lining, the little pocket. We have the bottom front, the top front, the side pieces, and of course, all the matching lining pieces. So this is going to be my zipper. And I also have this long piece for the strap, orange bias tape, and this funky orange carabiner, Hammer brand, aluminum snap hook carabine type. So, seven meters. Gosh. So, click, click, click. Now, let's start with the Zipper. First things first. So we are going to sandwich our zipper. Right side of the zipper facing the right side of the outside. Like this, you can put some pin. Now let's take our lining, basically sandwich it like this. Just use the same pins. So now let's start on the side where there is no zipper puller and sew it. So now press this edge. You can finger press it. So if you want, you can edge stitch here, but I personally prefer to keep it kind of clean and minimalist just as it is. Now, next thing, same, same. So now the top attaches to the zipper and then the lining basically goes under. So we've done it once, now let's do it again and we can do it two in one basically now. Now let's stitch it. Ooh, I actually really like this color side too. <laughs> but this is the lining, so let's make sure everything is nice. Give it a quick finger press or a real press if you like. This looks nice. So next, the sides. Voila, open the zipper a little bit so now this side's a little bit more tricky so maybe we want to start here and this one under and then let's sandwich that whole thing yes just like this with one cm three-eighths of an inch seam allowance let's not hit the metal rule number one. Oh my god i'm so scared so scared yeah don't hit the metal if you have a metal set here i just like barely averted the danger so one more side see how that worked out though So the zipper, the sides, it's all there, gorgeous, inside and out. This is looking kind of really good already. And I wanna give it an actual little 
press now. So that's enough for now. Let's clean things up. We can cut these corners off. Definitely get rid of the threads. Next up, the belt and the buckle. But I am not really going to make belt and buckle. I'm going for belt and carabiner. It is time to stitch the belt together. If you don't have a turner tool, but you have some like ribbon lying around or cord, it is a very, very good idea to stitch that just in there. So this will help us later to um, turn the whole thing around. So the belt goes like this. Once the MC allowance, stitch our ribbon in place here at the end first. And then pivot, folding it in here, edges together, no need to pin. Before we turn the belt around, it's always a good idea to press the seam into the center of it and press it open. Let's turn it around now with the help of our ribbon. Give it a bit of a starter moment like this. It's kind of already turned inside out and then... And here's my belt. We have to snip that off. Like literally like a good bit there so so and now let's press this back and shape you can top stitch if you want but i want to keep this make really clean so now i want to cut a piece that will hold my carabiner so let's just check so something like this let's give it a little bit more for the seam allowance and Voila. So this will actually just be the loop and then this one can. So this one goes here. And then here I literally want to freestyle like with kind of some knots to make it look a bit more like outdoorsy mountaineering style. So this one will just be a single. So now I'm going to open the zipper and arrange that all. We can now take care of the back piece and we want to put the right side of the back first like this and ooh, let's prepare our inside lining here and this will be the pocket so what I want to do is a stay stitch all the way around so I've done that now real quick so Let's give it a little press, turn it around, and now let's try to... So I want to pre-fold it with my fingers. So linen can easily be finger pressed. If you've never tried this before, give it a go. And now double here. Of course, I will miter the edge, the, the corner. So now we can fix it here and then pin and stitch it on. Let's stitch the hem, the little inside pocket, and then pin it in place. So why do I go through the trouble of making a round man? Because I don't know. <laughs> so stitch it here and I will go through the middle too. It will be so convenient for like keys and coins. 
the right side of the facing of the back, looking at us. Last chance to trim. So now I want to pin it all together, all the way around. Let's make sure the straps are not in the way. So it's all pinned and now we can stitch it with one CM seam allowance all the way around. This is such a quick make and now we just want to do the one CM all the way around. So first things first, let's lock the straps in place. Make sure you don't sew over your strap. So. The zipper should still be open. Move everything out of the way if necessary. And now the big curve. So. And now I'm gonna get my bias tape and do that real quick. I'm gonna stitch it with 0.5 cm seam allowance. I Let's clean this mess a little bit up and then we can iron it and press the bias tape into shape before we sew it for a second time. So I've already pre-pressed it, finger pressed it a little bit, but for a bit of a permanent press, let's add some heat and steam. So now I flipped it around and I want to fold it in half. So basically towards the raw edge and then we fold it over. So it's a bit thick. We can steam and heat press it. And one more time in half and then over the edge. So this looks great. Now back to the machine and let's stitch this. So now comes the really super duper fun part, which is this pulling this out. It's like Christmas. It's really fun. So let's do this. Very, very quick press. Now wiggle this out as much as we can. So, and the next thing, last but not least, my plan is like this, and then I'm gonna knot it around. Just like that, so it's actually adjustable. I could think of something for an, a here, but for the moment. I am way too excited to try. No. 
I wear it this way around. So I did it because I wanted the curve binder to be here and then the zipper when I close it, it's like the quick close, like, but to open it, it's a little bit harder, so. And then here, super duper cool inside pockets. Then just sticks. Yes, why am I not on the video? <sighs> so yeah, actually I wear my banana bags like this. I love this guys. This is like my wallet now. And when I'm driving, I have everything here and I can just be like, you know, uh -huh, get my stuff. I so good, so good.